Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Alicia from Malinka Young Crafts and in today's tutorial I will show you how to crochet the tulip stitch. This is a very fun and pretty stitch. It looks like um, corner to corner crochet almost because it does have these um, crisscross squares here. But it is much easier to make. It's worked in uh, your classic back and forth rows. It is a uh, reversible pattern so it does look the same on both sides. There's another variation of the tulip stitch out there. It's worked a little bit differently, but it has a very similar look. That variation will have scalloped edges here on the sides. This one will have these straight edges, so if you need to work a project that will need a border, then this is going to be a little bit easier because your edges are already straight. You will have scalloped edges here at the top, but I will show you at the end of this tutorial how to flatten it off. Okay, this is a um, easy one row repeat pattern and I think it will look great on scarves and blankets. You can also try it in multiple colors and it would look amazing. Alright, so let's get started. In today's tutorial I will be using a medium weight cotton yarn, so this is a weight 4 yarn and a 5 millimeter hook. We're going to start with a slip knot and then for our chain we're going to need any multiple of four plus two so you're going to count in fours until you have the length of the chain that you need for your project and then you're going to add two more i'm going to make a smaller sample today so i'm going to chain 16 plus two so 16 is my multiple of four and then I'm going to add two more so I should have a total of 18 chains and as you make your chains make sure they're not too tight here you can even size up your hook if needed okay once we have our chain we're going to get started by working a row of single crochets so anytime I have a pattern where I need to work multiple stitches into the same space I prefer to work them into a row of single crochet versus uh, working them into chains. So this is what we're going to do now, we're going to work a row of single crochets. We're going to start in the second chain from the hook, so one, two right here. So insert your hook into the second chain and I'm going to work into the back bumps of my chains but you can work into any loop that is um, more comfortable to you. Okay, so going to insert my hook into the second chain from my hook yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two and I'm going to work my single crochets all the way across so at the end of this row you'll have a multiple of four plus one so I had 18 chains and at the end of this row I should have 17 stitches 17 single crochets so row one is complete so now for row two this is where we're going to start working on our pattern we're going to start by chaining four so one two three four and turn we're going to work three double crochets into the very first stitch so that stitch where your four chains came from right there the first stitch we're going to work three double crochets into it so yarn over go into that very first stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two repeat two more times and to the same stitch So we chained four and then we worked three double crochets into the same stitch. Next we're going to skip one, two, three stitches and work one single crochet into the next one. So you're going to count one, two, three and enter the fourth one, insert your hook there and work one single crochet. Okay, now we're going to chain three and work three double crochets into the same stitch where we worked that single crochet right there. 
So yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we made one uh, double crochet, we need two more. One and two. Okay, so we chained three and worked three double crochets. Now we're going to repeat this sequence until the end of the row. So depending on the length of your original chain, you may have to repeat this more than me. So we're going to skip three and work into the fourth one. One single crochet, then chain three, and work three double crochets into the same stitch. One, two and three. Repeat the same sequence. Skip three stitches into the fourth one, work one single crochet, then chain three and work three double crochets into the same stitch. And we're repeating this sequence until the end, until we have four stitches left. So at the end here, once you have four stitches left, you will skip three stitches and work one single crochet into that very last stitch in the row. Okay, here we go. Skip three and into the last stitch, you're going to work one single crochet. And row two is finished. You can see already that the pattern is forming and we have a nice um, scalloped edge here so our squares are going one way and on the next row our squares are going to be going the other way so we're going to have this crisscross pattern here. Our next row, row 3, is going to be the row that we're going to keep repeating. We're going to start by chaining 4 and then turn our work. We're going to work three double crochets into that very first stitch. Okay, right there in the first stitch, we're going to work three double crochets. Then we're going to work a single crochet under that chain three space. So we're going to skip these three double crochets here and go into that chain space right there and work a single crochet right under it, right here. Okay, next we're going to chain three and we're going to work three double crochets into the same chain space. So we're basically working the same pattern we did in the previous row, except now we're working into that chain space. So we're going to work three double crochets here. Then we're going to skip the single crochet, we're going to skip the three double crochets and then we're going to work our one single crochet into the next chain three space. Okay, right there, we're skipping the single crochet, we're skipping the three double crochets and we're going to go into the next chain space and work one single crochet. Now we're going to chain three again and work three double crochets into the same chain space. Here we are. And we're going to repeat the same sequence. We're going to skip that one single crochet, skip three double crochets and work a single crochet into the next chain three space. Then chain three, work three double crochets into the same chain space. So 
So if you did um, a longer chain in the beginning, you may have to repeat this sequence a few more times. Then towards the end here, once you reach your last chain free space, we're going to work one single crochet into it. And this is going to conclude our row. Okay, so one single crochet into the last chain space. And we're done with this row. Okay, now we just have to repeat the same row over and over again until we reach the desired length of our project. So we're going to start with chain four and turn, work three double crochets into the very first stitch. Okay. Skip the three double crochets and work one single crochet into the chain space. Chain three, and three double crochets into the same chain space. We're going to repeat this pattern until the end of the row. We're going to skip one single crochet and three double crochets and work one single crochet into the next chain space. Chain three and three double crochets. And once we reach the very end of the row, we're going to work one single crochet under that last chain space. And you can see the pattern forming already. And in the beginning, it will look like you have bigger gaps here. But once you work more rows and stretch it out sideways, the gaps will become a little bit smaller. And as you can see here, you will end up with a scalloped edge here. So if you do want to level off your work at the end of your project, I can show you how to level off the top of your project here. So let's do that next. We're going to do a different row now. So we're going to try and level this off so that we have a nice straight, straight edge in case you want to make a blanket with a border. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to chain three and turn and we're going to work two more double crochets into the very first stitch. Then we're going to work one single crochet into the chain space. Then we're going to go into the next single crochet there, right there. And we're going to work three double crochets into it. So we're basically working a little fan stitch here or half shell stitch so that we can fill in these gaps and flatten off the top. Right now they are going to work one single crochet into the next chain space and then go straight into the next single crochet and work three double crochets there. Again, one single crochet into the chain space and then three double crochets into that single crochet below. Okay, so now we just have to finish off the row and uh, bring this shell down and work one single crochet into the last chain space. And here we have a flat top. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I invite you to do so now. I have a lot of different crochet stitch tutorials and more coming, and also a few pattern tutorials. Thanks, and I hope to see you back here soon.